Okay, gang, this is the seventh time I've tried to do this video, and hopefully this one will be the charm. Anyway, uh, the tech guy came in, fixed my camera, so that's good. If you can see, there's the bottom of my paper here, top of my paper right here, so we're about full screen. And this is going to be a You Draw What I Draw for October 7th, 2021, for my sixth and seventh hour students. Make sure that you are getting the 12 by 18 inch paper off the second shelf of the gray cart. And the gray cart is located as you're facing the doors, getting ready to leave the art room. It would be the cart on the right hand side next to the cutting table. So it's a 12 by 18 paper on the second shelf of the gray cart. Anyway, uh, please be good for the sub and do a good job with this drawing. I'm going to take this for a grade. So we are going to get started. So I'm going to start over here about two and a half inches from the top and a little on the right hand side of middle and we're going to begin. A little bump here. Come down like that and we'll end that line right there all right now we're going to go around the front here okay well, that's pretty good now we're going to come out here right off of this line a little bit up Kind of straight up, and then we got some jagged lines coming down. Then we got a little bump here, and this is kind of going to be a bumpy surface. So we're going to pick up the textures. The texture of this is important. You'll see why in a little bit. I'm going to move my angle here for my pen. Now, as you can see. I'm working in pen, so if I make a mistake, I gotta figure out how to incorporate it into the drawing. If you guys make a mistake, go ahead and feel free to use your erasers, but not too much, gang. Remember, we're drawing, we're not just erasing. There's a fly on my paper here, and he's buzzing around. Yes, he wants to be part of the video. Now this line, we're going to come all the way around like so. Now this texture is really important here. As you get these edges, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. There we go. We're not fully zoomed in yet, so we have some options. This fly keeps buzzing around me, driving me a little crazy. So if I stop a second and swat a fly, don't worry about it. There's a mosquito in here too. This is this line's going to give most of the drawing away, but remember, it's still for a grade, so it's important that you draw exactly what I draw, or as close to it as you can. Okay. If you need to pause it at any time to kind of catch up, try to keep my hand out of the way of the picture. I'll try to talk to you the whole time. Can't guarantee I will, but I'll try. Well, we got a little nub here coming down. Okay. So I've got to kind of make sure I know where I want to end this at. This line is quite long. To 
takes a little while. There. It's a good start. Looks like we fixed our focusing problem. Thanks to Mr. Joe and Schneers for all the great help. As far as technology goes, it saved my bacon again. Now this line's a little faster because it's a little bit smoother. I've never drawn this before or any creature quite like it. I'm sure you've figured out what it probably is. I think I've got a little too long with this line, so I'm going to end this line right here. I'm going to bring it back. So, so far, so good. I'm going to also add a line here, right here. Okay. I'm pretty sure you figured out what we've got here for the most part. I'm going to go back here and work this line here a little bit more. Okay, this comes back around like so. This comes down like so. And then we have another line that goes basically off the page. Okay, so let's get going here. We've got a, a few more things right here at the bottom of the corner of the page that I want to put in. So if I come right down from here, this line kind of starts here. There's a fly on my hand. And this is driving me crazy. This has been the most challenging video as far as trying to get something done for you guys that I have had in a long time. Here's another line that's here. And I'll have you know, I started this particular drawing literally five separate times and had to start over and seven times total, but the last two I wasn't actually drawing. It was just my camera that messed up. And I have had flies trying to help me do this drawing. We had a spider in here yesterday that was helping people draw. Then some of my students wanted to pick it up and play with it, which is not really acceptable in the art room since we have lots of sharp objects and things that you can get hurt on. So making the girls scream and people freak out is not a good idea. fly is going to drive me crazy. I may have to take a moment and whack a fly here in a little bit. And I'm going to finish up this corner here. Okay. So you can pretty much see what we've got. I bet you could guess pretty much the whole drawing. But we're going to kind of Still keep it a secret here for at least a little while.
few more lines in here. Some shadows, some glare. Yeah, maybe I better zoom in just one more notch for this part. There you go. That's as close as I can get to it. Hopefully it will work for you. Now we got a little sliver here we got to put in. Okay. Pretty much giving this away now. Got some really neat shadows we want to put in. This kind of comes back on itself a little bit. It gets real thin and then it widens out. Okay. We got another cool wrinkle right under here we got to get in. Now let's put in another line right here on the end of the nose. As you can tell, it's a nose. And we're going to come down. Actually, this is kind of fun for me. I haven't had a chance to draw a lot in the last two or three days. And so it's kind of peaceful to be sitting here. I probably should be at cross-country practice, but being's how we have a cross-country meet tomorrow, and I gotta get this done for you guys, I had to tell them I couldn't make it to practice today. So, I'm really counting on you guys to take good care of the sub. Because I can't do my other job if you guys aren't good for them. You know all that. I already told you all that jazz. I'm going to change my angle a little bit here. And i got to work on this line just a bit. I'm going to angle it a little more. There we go. And then... We've got some work to do in here too, but I think it's time to work on this part here. So I'm going to say I'm going to put this line in right here. Just about there, and then it comes back. Remember, if you need to, pause the video, look things over. Come down like so. Okay, and there's another thin line right in here. like that. Looks pretty decent. Alright, I got another little line right here. It goes like so. Take your time. If you have to watch it again, go ahead and do that. You're probably figuring out pretty close to what all this is. Okay. Hmm. 
go like that. I'm hoping you can see it pretty good. Some of it's a little small. And remember, my, my drawings aren't perfect either, so we're going to make a line here. And we're going to kind of come up and meet up right there. Bend to here. Line up there. Come back around. Up like that. Here and then up like so. Now there's another little line right here, it's kind of a shadow. Looks like that. And this little dude has a kind of a unique kind of a mark in here. Go like that. Kind of come back and go like this. We'll put the little shadow in here. Then it comes down like that. Yep, just about perfect. This guy's got kind of a shadow here on his nose. Okay. Another little one here. Now, if you have to go back and look at a section again, don't be afraid to do that. There's a lot going on right here. It's really even confusing for me. Voila. Okay. There's still some stuff I got to put in. There's a big shadow right here. It's not big. I guess if, if you were this little guy, it would be big. And this will come back here. Okay. Now remember, this is for a grade, so I really want to see the effort. Remember, I'm not real concerned whether you get this absolutely perfect. I'm concerned with whether you tried. And tried means you worked almost the entire hour on this. Okay, so there'll be no giving up. And I'll know who worked and who didn't. And there's a lot of stuff in this drawing, so it could take you easily an hour. We're right at 20 minutes, and I would say we're probably not even close to done. Now he casts a little bit of a shadow right here. On this little dude. Power off. Oh, sorry about that. My speaker just shut off. There we go. Well, we got some really cool textures here under this eye. So I'm going to, or above this eye. Okay, let's see. What else do we got going on here? A triangle that kind of comes back like this. Hooks into that. That's kind of cool. Isn't this the best looking cat you've ever seen? I'm telling you, I'm amazed.
I should draw cats for a living. All right, oh, yeah, we got that right there, and we're gonna make cats right here. You guys got me. This isn't a cat. It's a hippo. Anyway. I better get this hippo's nose in right or it's not going to be happy with me. face only another hippo could love. There we go. I think I better work down here for a little bit. Mm. Wow, things get a little confusing here. There's a shadow. Coming out of this orangutan's mouth. It's going to go up in here. Now, he's got some more teeth. I never knew orangutans had so many teeth. Guacamole. Anyway, we're going to do our best to put this in. It's not going to be exactly like the orangutan in the picture, but we'll give it a shot. And there's another tooth that sticks up there. You know, these basset hounds are tough to draw. I just can't ever get the ears right. And, you know, people who raise basset hounds, they get all upset because they think that you didn't quite pay attention to what you was doing. I would say this is probably one of the best basset hounds I've ever drawn. What do you think? Pretty good? Yeah, I thought so. We got some detail lines in here. So, oh, we also have this a rock that this basset hound is leaning on. So I better, better put that in there. And there's another line. Whoa, 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 I went off the page. Sorry. Forgot I was zoomed in there. That's the other thing that basset hound people get upset about when you're drawing them. As you go off the page, they get all fiery about that. Anyway. Alright, so we got some details to put in now. Somebody stepped on the big grate outside. We'll pick on them later. Well, they're getting in their car and they're driving away. Some people just don't like flamingos. Never knew flamingos had so many spots. Anyway, this guy's got some cool stuff here on his belly. Gosh, we've been drawing for about 25 minutes. About 20 more minutes on this drawing and we'll be done. 
Oh, let's see here. There's a couple of spots up here near the mouth. Actually, I got to move this line. It's not in the right place. Or wait a minute, it is in the right place. I got to put another line in. spot up here remember if you are kind of lost in this drawing you can always go back to a spot where you can start again and keep going back over it these take a little time if you want them to turn out right and remember, I'm not putting any shadows in here, so this becomes a real big challenge real fast. Especially when you get a chimpanzee riding on top of a basset hound. I don't know. Call me crazy. I don't know how people get through this. They take pictures of the weirdest things. No. We do have some scales on this bat. I think this basset hound has a skin condition, to be honest with you. It's awful scaly, you know. Anyway. This is looking pretty good. Oh, God. All right, now let's see what can we do here. We got some dark shadows in here, but they're really bumpy because, I, like I tell you, this this hound's got a skin condition; like it won't quit. There's this big spot right back here on his back oh, let's see here we got some more stuff we can put out here on the nose so I'm going to try and draw for about 45 minutes you may only get into about 25 minutes and have to go back and take a look, come back to the details later. And remember, this is all about effort. You got to put the effort in if you want a quality image. And I haven't had a chance to draw anything fun like this for a while. And so I'm a little jealous. You guys get to do a little bit more of this stuff than I do. I love coaching, but I miss getting some time to make a few more videos on things. And I still have to write my sub file for the rest of the day. I feel sorry for other teachers who don't get to draw cool things like like basset hounds, hippos, orangutans, you know, everything that we're drawing here today. Anyway, there's another line we need to put in. Here we go. Now this guy, there's another, what's this thing got 
down like that. It picks up here. There's another one. Just like that. There's the wrinkliest doggone basset hound I ever seen in my life. Anyway, I'm going to put a little more of a pad on this foot there. And a little bit more of a one on here. Okay, and kind of see. Yeah, this dude's mouth goes clear back behind this other circly thing. And then there's another little shaped thing in there. And then there's a little shadow here. So we got to make another line. Remember, we don't do any shading much with the you draw what I draw. We're just kind of working on, you know, getting the, the shapes right. And we, instead of shading, we make a shadow shape. Because in this picture, all this area is all shadow up through here and this is a shadow up in here and all these little areas are shadows and dark spots so it gets it gets kind of tricky now there's a lots of little bumps in here on this guy's skin and they kind of get started right in here now I'm not going to try and draw all of them I'm just going to make some some shapes and things in spots and we'll just try to fill in the area. I'm still looking at the picture when I'm doing these, but you know, at the end, it's it's not about getting each little scaly part exactly right. It's about capturing kind of the image itself. And if I'm working on scales the whole time, I'm not going to get the image right. And I am going to put some of them in because they're necessary. We're at 32 minutes. We're doing pretty good. And we're going to keep going here for a little while on this part. Put some more up in here and up here. And then we're going to put some more, like, yeah, right kind of down in here. I'm not going to say a whole lot here. Just going to keep drawing. Bet you never thought you'd draw a basset hound that looked this pretty, did you? Anyways. I can hear the cheerleaders practicing out in the hallway. They yell loud. Holy smokes. Oh, I know what I need to do. Looks like there's a wrinkle here I gotta get in. I'm kind of kind of happy with the way this is turning out. Oh, there's a big shadow right here. I missed it. I missed it. I want to slide this up. It comes right off under his jaw and it comes down at the kind of the same angle as the rock itself. And it meets up right here with this. And then it kind of comes back, gets thin, then kicks out wide and goes up and around like so kind of sits under the body and there's a darker shadow right here that matches up with this part right here 
This is an awful lot going on in this picture. Let's take a look. We'll zoom out here for a little real quick sec and take a look. We're right at 35 minutes. And I would say pretty good for 35 minutes. We're getting quite a bit accomplished. There's an extra line. I'm going to zoom back in because there's an extra line in that eyeball that if you're not looking, you'll, you'll miss. And it's right around the centerpiece right here. It's not very big. Just like that. Kind of important. There's also a shadow on this guy's back up here. And I think I don't think it's a shadow as much as it's a colored spot. But because my photocopy is black and white, I don't know what color it is. I love these you draw what I draws. I love the style of them. Because they work really good when you want to throw them into a painting or have them be part of your a bigger project. See, so I, I just I hang on to all this stuff because I think it's important. Um, oh, here, let's put the rest of his jaw in right here. There. Well, I think that comes out just a little bit further. Go like that. Now we're good. Um, I wonder this eye needs a little work. I need to put a little emphasis in there. Um, kind of, kind of losing it a little. This is not the eye. This is the eye, and there's the other eye. And kind of messes with you because I made this line too dark and so if you get them confused I'm sorry I'm not gonna darken them in I guess I could but I don't really want to do that I don't want to spoil the picture I'm gonna put some more scaly dudes back over here they're a little bit bigger than the ones in here at least some of them are Kind of see what I'm doing. Now remember, yours is supposed to resemble mine. It's not supposed to be a direct copy. So if you're like, mine doesn't look anything like Hayes's Basset Hound, don't worry about it. I want your style, not mine. I want you to copy it as closely as you can, but I don't want you to freak out about it. Here's a bigger spot here, too. Okay. Okay. Get a few more in here. I'm starting to like how this is looking. I think I want to put some more in here, but I do need to work on the on the nose here a little bit more. Because coming off the eye, we got this. It's kind of coming down like so. Goes up like that. Comes around like so. Looks like that. Not a lot more we can do with with this guy up here. I think he's pretty much done. I am going to put a bigger pad on this toe. I think it needs it. Um, there are a few bigger, bigger scale like things here. I want to put some more texture right in here. Okay. 
We're going to put some more texture through here. I'll tell you what, guys, this is the truth. I was pretty freaked out about this one because I didn't pick it. One of my high schoolers did. And I said, what, what do you think would be interesting for these guys to draw? And when they said frog and an alligator and so they looked it up and there it was a frog right an alligator oh i mean a basset hound and a kitten yeah sorry okay we're at 41 minutes and i think we're getting close to a spot where I think we're, we're going to be done, I think, but I'm not completely sure. Like that. Gosh, I think that looks pretty decent. And he's got some more of these guys. Too shabby. There we go. This video is going to take a little while to process. Oh, we do have some shadows underneath these claws. So we should probably put those in before we finish this up. So there's a shadow. Here's a shadow. And then there's shadows that actually go up onto the claws right up in here and I'll put a few more spots in on his leg here so I didn't even pick this one this probably wouldn't have been what I would have chosen but seeing as how I started this drawing five different times or four um, and I don't let you guys give up on stuff. I thought I better not be a big baby about it. I should just get it finished. So that's what I did. Um, pretty happy with this drawing. I really am. Uh, I'd like to fill in more of the texture here, but I just don't know if I've got the time. I mean, I guess I could go on for another 20 minutes, but... It would just be a lot of the same. It'd be a lot of, of uh, there are some neat lines here on the leg. So I'm going to put a few of those in. So I think they're kind of cool. Um, so I'm not going to get too carried away. Oh, there's that fly again. He kind of left us alone for about a half an hour. Must be pretty boring. There's another spot here. And... Uh, Somebody's driving up. That's the one thing about having the new art room. You hear everybody when they drive in. And some people, they need to have a tune-up. I know, because I drive cars that need tune-ups a lot. I think this is really turning out decent. So we are right about 45 minutes, and I just, I mean, I guess there's more we could do, but I'm really liking the way this turned out. There are certainly some areas that I would, you know, possibly do different. Um, this is my You Draw What I Draw for October 7th, 2021 for my, specifically my 6th and 7th hour students. 
Uh, please take good care of the sub. This will be for a grade, so pay attention. And if you need to take your time and you only get part of it finished, but you put in good hard work, that's good. I know uh, I know who works hard and who whines, and I have some people that whine and work hard, but that doesn't happen too often. So um, anyway, had a lot of fun doing this. I don't get many opportunities to do these drawings right now because my schedule is so busy. But I suppose I had better go and write the rest of my subfile so that there is no confusion. I've really enjoyed this drawing. It's super fun. Again, it's um, an orangutan riding a hippo or a duck riding a basset hound or a Oh man, this is so confusing. Oh, it's it's a frog riding an alligator. I knew I'd get it eventually. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Hang in there. Uh, do your best with this. Don't give up. Don't quit on yourselves. I remember I had to start this over five different times. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Slide this down so you can see the eyeball. We'll zoom out here real quick. You take a look at the whole thing. So there's what you're looking at. That is our frog riding on top of an alligator or crocodile. I can't remember which one. Maybe you guys can tell me. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Talk to you later.